Now, the show dedicated to rebuilding Washington, D.C.'s metropolitan housing and credit markets with the timely, trusted advice you need to make the right decisions. This is the Todd Laborowitz Show. Good afternoon, as your friend and host, Todd Laborowitz. I'm privileged to share every Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. with you on the Todd Laborowitz Show, which is part of the Real Estate Radio Network here on Salem Broadcast, WRC 1260 AM. Well, right here with me now is Steve Rockhine, president of Area Appraisal Services. He's ranked top 10 real estate appraisal companies in the Washington, D.C. area. He does appraisal for single-family residences, condominiums, and small residential income properties. He's also an expert witness testimony and estate work. He also does REO, divorce, probate, and bankruptcy. Hello, Steve. Hello, Todd. Thank you for having me. What, what is the expert witness testimony and estate work? Well, it tends to go into the legal realm of appraisal. I have a lending side and I have a legal side. The legal side tends to be the courtroom stuff. Most of it doesn't go to court because it's so incredibly expensive. But I am certified by the IRS. I am qualified as an expert witness in in Montgomery County, D.C., Virginia, a federal bankruptcy court. Oh, wow. So you got a lot of good stories, I'm sure. Yes, I've testified several times. Very nice. Well, what I'd like to do is rewind a little bit and go back to some basic questions for our listeners. Is How would you explain an appraisal? An appraisal is we use it to derive value. As a residential appraiser, we tend to use the sales comparison approach the most. There's also cost and income approach to value. A sales is used probably 90% of the time. A a cost approach is a brand new house, it's excellent. Uh, For the income approach, say you have a two to four unit and it's driving income and you wanna figure out what the value is based on that income. In the commercial realm, they they rely a lot more heavy on that. Uh, Cost approach is good, but when a house starts getting over five, seven years old, it's not the best approach. Uh, Sales comparison approach generally is your very best approach. Okay. Well, what are the reasons a person would require your services? Well, they're getting divorced and they're trying to split up the house. Uh, The main reason I do the legal work is for a state. The IRS is standing there with their hand out. Um, The state of Maryland, they want to get a value and you've got it somewhere between three three to nine months to get a value and all the paperwork in. And I'm a piece of that. Someone calls me for estate work. It's not like, oh, what are you charging? I mean, they know their attorneys told them they have to have an appraisal. And they just say, I was told to call you, and we go from there. Well, after completing an appraisal, and you said divorce, uh, you got two sides. Some estates, you have multiple sides because you got the kids involved. Uh, How do you guarantee that the final number is trustworthy? Or do they get more than one? When you get to that level, you tend to use an SRA by the Appraisal Institute. I I have a degree in real estate, another one in finance, and then it took me five years sitting in front of my peers for them to say, yes, you can join the Institute. And those are the people that you will find in the courtroom work. Uh, However, it's an art and a science, and I've I've been against excellent appraisers in town, and we've been 13% apart on, uh, I was at a million 650, and they were at a 2.2 million. And it was a very strange, very large home, and it took quite a while for it to sell. But the guy on the other side, I'm very friendly with, he's an honest guy, I'm an honest guy, and we were 13% apart. Uh, So there's where the art comes in. It it ended up actually selling in the middle. So I think banks and lenders and courts are very happy if you can be within 5%. Okay. Now, who hires the appraiser? Um, On a lender side, it is always the bank. The borrower is never allowed to hire their own appraiser. In the olden days, you could do that no more. Right, the new rules and regulations. Yes, it's very different. And it's also great for the consumer. It is much better for the consumer. Um, The legal side, I, I like to have it ordered by the attorneys. I feel that it's a more credible report going to the IRS or the state or the CPA is fine, but I don't like generally when the owner calls me directly and wants to order it. I, I think it's better It's better coming from a law firm or a CPA. Okay. Well, by the way, if you're just tuning in, I have with me Steve Rockhind from Area Appraisal Services, and I am your host, Todd DeBorowit, and you're listening to Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. Well, for appraisals, 
Is there anything that people need to know in advance uh, before they have you come out to inspect their house? Well, in theory, I am appraising the real estate. It doesn't matter with your housekeeping. However, we are human. If we go in there and we see trash and we see a house that is just just not in great shape, they're not taking care of it, uh, stuff on the floor, I mean, we are human. We are going to take into a account that the thing is not being cared for properly, such as the grass is, hasn't been cut, the shrubs are not being taken care of. That'll factor into the condition. Um, but technically we're in there, we're valuing the real estate. We're okay. not necessarily valuing your housekeeping. Okay. And as far as the appraisal, who has the rights? I know when we do a loan, we order the appraisal, we own it, they want a copy, they got to send a letter, uh, but we give it to everybody anyway. Um, as far as like the other services, divorce and estates, who owns the appraisal? The client. And it's always the client. You are correct. On the lender side, you technically now have to give the borrower a copy, whether or not they paid for it or not. you got to give them a copy. But on the legal side, divorce. I mean, my client is the law firm. If the wife, Say I'm representing the husband and the wife wants it, the answer is no. If the husband wants it, no, I'll send it to the attorney. And if the attorney wants you to have it, then he'll give it to you. What about for an estate planning or for an estate? That can be a tricky subject because I, that's why I want to put the – the lawyer's name on it. I will give it to the lawyer. I will also give it to the personal representative, the PR of the estate. But a lot of families are fighting. I see it often. I see it every week. And if a sister calls, the answer is no. The answer is it goes to the PR or it goes to the attorney. So you know how to keep your hands clean. Yes. Got it. Well, uh, what I'd like to do is get into a question that I've always been curious about, and that's the private mortgage insurance. And not talking about FHA, because that's completely different. Someone takes out a loan and they're paying monthly mortgage insurance. Now, when loans today, when that loan balance falls below 78% of the appraised value at the time of taking out the transaction, it automatically drops off. Uh, when someone is in a neighborhood where the values jump, let's say a Harris Teeter goes into the neighborhood and values jump up $100,000. I've seen it happen before. And the borrower says, wait a second, my house is worth more money now. I shouldn't pay monthly mortgage insurance. How is that handled? I really don't know the answer. And I, it, like some people feel they have to refinance and get the rate that they can get to make it work. Do they have to refinance? Can they go to you and work it out? Or can, is their bank going to give them misled information? Well, PMI stands for private mortgage insurance. Don't expect your insurance company to call you and say your value went up and you can drop it. Um, when somebody calls me, I used to get a lot of these phone calls, I say you need to contact the lender or the PMI company and get instructions. There's very specific instructions on who you can use to does, do this. Does every lender have a policy in place or do people get misled a little bit? Some lenders have policies, some don't. Um, some require certain appraisers to do it that are on their list, some are not. So for them to call me directly is not good. They, I, as soon as they call me, I say, listen, you need to contact your lender and get the instructions and then send them to me. I, I, I want to make sure they're doing it right. Wanna, you, you don't want to go through all this, pay for it, and then realize you didn't get what you, you needed. And the same thing goes for your property tax assessment if the values drop. That is correct, but the county is not giving in. All my friends that are great appraisers out there, every one of them is losing these tax appeal cases. The mm. county is not giving in. There's stage one, stage two, stage three. They may give you a few, like a few percent just to go away. Then stage two happens and you, you get nothing. And you, you got to take it to the point where it goes to a court and then you can. Wow. It's, and the it's money not it's, worth it. Right. Someone calls me right now to appeal their taxes. I just say no. I said, it's, it's not for me. Every one of my friends are losing these cases. Uh, I just advise them no. Great. Well, what I'd like to do is offer you, our listeners, an opportunity to get in touch with uh, Steve Rockin, Rockkind, sorry about that, uh, with Area Appraisal Services. If you call or text me, uh, Steve Rockkind, R-O-C-H-K-I-N-D, at 301-467-8444. That number again is 301 301- Four six seven eight four four four. I can put you in touch with Steve to help answer some questions. Also, you have something very unique: is on your website, uh, you have a value check. 
Can you explain that a little bit further before we close out? What happens is people used to call us and say, can you give us a value? Or what do you think my house is going to appraise for before we do it? And as an appraiser, we can't do that. So what I did is I researched and found about five AVNs, which are automatic valuation models. It's computers that will help you determine what your value is for free, such as uh, Zillow.com. Great. Well, Steve, thanks for having you here. Coming up next, we have Bruce Cotting from Real Living at Home. We'll be right back after these messages. You don't go through life with a paralyzing fear every time you have a financial transaction. So why is applying for a mortgage so scary? At Topaz Mortgage with Todd Laborwit, it is about educating and empowering you to get from point A to point B. Todd provides you with his exact closing cost, best interest rate, then invites you to shop around. Plus, if you call with questions, Todd picks up with the answers. Learn more at whytopaz.com. They are industry experts that care. Topaz Mortgage, NMLS 131548, licensed by the Virginia State Corporation Commission, MC 5344, Washington, D.C., MLB 131548, Maryland 18330, Todd Laborwit, NMLS 131497.